Hi guys, I'm Carla the Bubble Lush, and this is my week three weigh-in results. All right, so first I wanted to start by telling you why I hate watching weight loss vlogs. Let me put my pin down. I hate watching weight loss vlogs because I feel like when I start watching somebody, they have a couple good weeks and then they fall off the bandwagon. And instead of just coming right out and saying like, I fell off the bandwagon, they spend 10 minutes on a vlog explaining and, you know, making excuses for themselves. And that's something that I never want to do for you guys, because I feel like as a viewer, you should gain something by watching me lose. So that's kind of what I have in the back of my mind while I'm making these vlogs. I don't, I'm not filming this just to like hear myself talk because right now I sound like a man because I'm sick. I'm keeping in mind that like there are other people going on this journey with me and maybe um, somewhere where I have a strength, they have a weakness or where I have a weakness, they have a strength. And together through comments and um, through maybe listening to my vlog or watching your vlog, we can learn from each other and you know do better on this journey to lose weight. So I want you to keep that in mind while you're watching my vlogs. You are never going to get a 10 minute vlog of just excuses of why I sucked that week. It's never gonna happen. I'm a mom, I've got two kids and a husband and a busy life, and that's going to ultimately have an effect on my weight loss. And so what I will do each week is kind of talk about really quick summation of what my week was like and how that affected the program. I think there's a difference between explaining what's going on in your life and just making excuses for bad behavior and not being accountable for your actions. So I really want to work on making sure I'm holding myself accountable. Both of my kids were sick and they got me sick, which is why I sound like a man. It's not attractive. So I didn't do any couch to 5k this week. It's as simple as that really. So when Friday rolled around, I had no idea if I had lost or gained. The amazing thing, the amazing thing is that I had a loss this week and it was actually a really big loss. I lost 4.6 pounds and that brings my total weight loss to 13 and a half pounds in three weeks, which I am so stoked about, you guys. I'm so stoked. I beat Chris <laughs> this week. He lost, I think it was like three and a half pounds and so I beat him, so that was exciting. He is still up overall at like 16 pounds down. Um, but it's kind of neat that I, I beat him and I, I don't know. I'm just really, I'm really happy with my progress and that's kind of ultimately what it's all about, right? Just being happy with, with yourself and how you're doing and not being too hard on yourself. So I wanted to start kind of a weekly thing of mentioning three things that I did really well this week um, that I'm really proud of myself for doing and then three things that I didn't do so great on and I really want to focus on improving this upcoming week. So the good things, portion control. I did a super good job doing portion control, um, counting calories, just eating, you know, small but they're normal size portions. Um, I think you slowly just get used to bigger and bigger portions and then when you start looking at what a normal size portion is you're like that's nothing. So, so getting back into the pattern of recognizing what a normal um, standard serving size is and being okay with that is something that I did really I did, really did a good job on this week. The second thing is meal planning. Um, I sat down, I wrote out all the meals, snacks, I had an idea of what we were going to do for breakfast and lunch throughout the week, and that really helped not only with my grocery shopping and helping to stay on budget, but also just um, planning my day so that I could work towards one of my resolutions of being a better cook. <laughs> so that was really good, it's kind of a twofer. And we all know that when you cook from scratch, you know, you have control over what the ingredients are. And then the third thing I think I did a really good job on is paying attention to my hunger cues. I think this is something that we get used to, especially if weight is an issue, is that we're uncomfortable with the feeling of being hungry. Like as soon as we're hungry, we need to eat something. And when you sit down and when you think about it, sometimes you're not even hungry. Sometimes you're thirsty. Sometimes you're responding to, you know, something, an emotional cue and not a hunger cue. Sometimes the reason why you're eating is just pure boredom. So I think I did a really good job of as soon as I noticed that I was hungry or if I was craving something, I gave myself like 20 minutes, um, sip some water. And if I was still hungry at the end of that 20 minutes, I listened to my body and I ate more. I made healthy choices, but I ate more because I figured, you know, I'm hungry for a reason and that's okay. 
I don't want to feel like I'm starving myself. This is not a crash diet. This is a lifestyle change. And I want to lose weight in a healthy way. I don't know, I just, I feel like I did a good job this week listening to my hunger cues, but it is something I'm going to have to work on long term because I was talking with my husband and I was like, you know, sometimes when I feel hungry, I don't know if I'm actually hungry. And it was something that he didn't understand. He was like, what are you talking about? You don't know if you're hungry. And I tried to explain like if it was, you know, emotional or a craving or if my body was actually hungry. And... I, somehow that's gotten kind of confused in my mind and I just don't want to be reactive in the way that I eat as soon as my body is hungry I you know I have to feed it um that kind of sounds weird but I've I, for so long I've emotionally ate that I've kind of gotten to the point where I don't necessarily trust my hunger cues and so I ha I'm really having to listen to not only my hunger cues but my body and that's just kind of something new that I'm working through. I don't know, it's kind of hard to explain. And so my goals for this upcoming week, water. I really need to increase my water intake. I did a good job the first two weeks but this third week um, I didn't drink enough. And then my second one is exercise. Even if I don't get out of the house and do couch to 5k because I'm still, I'm still sick and my kids are still sick. You know I have Zumba on DVD. I, there's no excuse to not move even if you're stuck indoors. So that's something that I want to hold myself accountable to. I need to exercise in some way this week. And then the third one, <laughs> this is funny because I was just talking about hunger cues, but eating regularly. Sometimes I find that when I wake in the morning, um, the kids are so busy and I have to get them fed and dressed and you know, we have to be somewhere by nine o'clock or whatever. I forget to take care of myself. I forget to grab breakfast or um, I forget to prepare myself a lunch and so when it gets to dinner time I'm super hungry because I haven't really eaten very much all day so that was a problem this week and mainly like I said it was because I had two sick kids and they were super high needs this week <laughs> and they just oh I'm exhausted <laughs> them but eh, that's life so I don't anticipate that being a huge issue this week now that kind of everyone's on the mend but it's something that I need to keep in mind for when life gets hectic is that I still have to take care of myself, right? Okay, so those of you that are trying to lose weight, I really wanna hear what is what are three things that you did great this week and three things that you need to work on this upcoming week. Here's a look at my body shot. Week one versus week three. one thing <laughs> that I'm finding hard about posting weight loss vlogs myself is that for so long my weight and my body and um, how it looks has been <sighs> it's been a sensitive subject I think that anyone that it has um, weight issues it's having people talk about your body is kind of a hard pill to swallow. I mean, I don't even like my doctor telling me I need to lose weight. I don't want to have a stranger telling me that, right? So while there are so many positives to posting weight loss vlogs, one thing that's hard to get used to is people not not just critiquing like your food, but critiquing your body. That's really hard pill to swallow. So it's so nice. And I know that the comments are coming out of a place of love when they're like, oh, I can see your stomach is smaller and your arms are smaller or whatever. But it's still, I think I'm still so early in the game and the, um, the changes are so small that I'm actually, <laughs> it makes me so self-conscious. So I don't know, the body shots are a tough spot, but I think that they are a great way of looking at progress, even more than just the pounds. Kind of seeing how your body is changing is um, such a great motivation. So that's why I'm going to keep doing it, even though it is, it's sensitive. I don't know, it's, I don't know. It's something I'll have to get used to and, you know, get a thicker skin and just deal with it, <laughs> I guess. Just deal with it. Anyways, thank you guys so much for watching. This video is going to be such a pain to edit because I am a rambly mess tonight. So thank you so much for, for watching and hopefully it turns out okay. So anyways, at the end of the week, I'm really happy with my progress. I think I'm doing a great job. Um, 
13.5 pounds in three weeks is awesome and I'm I'm starting to feel a little bit of the difference and if I wasn't sick I know I would have a much higher energy level but because before I got sick my energy was like through the roof so um, I'm definitely going to keep doing this and I hope you follow along. I will talk to you guys next week and thanks so much for watching. Bye.